What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the Shopify point of sale or POS features and how to use them. So as you know, Shopify is a pretty popular online store. If you have an online store, you can uh, list products and sell them. However, it's pretty useful as well if you have a physical store. So uh, you can set up the point of sale options if you have a physical store alongside your uh, Shopify store. And of course, having a physical location alongside your uh, online presence is a great way to increase your sales and grow your business as you attract all kinds of customers, those who browse the internet and go to your online store and those who want physical location to go and see the products for themselves because some customers prefer to go to physical locations or physical stores themselves to see the products in person and maybe try them if they are uh, looking for clothes to see the fit in person instead of like ordering them online and uh, having to deal with getting an item that is not fit correctly or uh, perfectly to the body even if they choose the right size so having if you want to grow your business if you are a seller and want to grow your business having a physical product a physical sorry location uh, alongside your Shopify store is a great idea and a great investment to grow your business so to access them you can go to settings and then go to POS here so go to settings and then go here to locations and then open the point of sale which is the app installed by default or which is even easier here under the online store you can get point of sale and you can also in the settings open the apps and sales channel and open the point of sale so basically every step will get you to the same location which is the uh, page where you can set up your point of sale. So here, uh, where do you want to sell in person? Let's say I'm at a pop-ups or let's say at markets and fairs or pop-up or my own brick and mortar store. Let's say my own brick and mortar store. I can also skip this step if I want to. Now, which POS system do you use today? Um, you can choose between some others and I'm not selling in person yet or I'm selling in person without a POS system. Submit. And the point of sale service is not for the free trial on Shopify here. I'm on the free trial. Uh, however, if I select a plan here, I'm redirected to the Shopify uh, plans here, which start at the basic plan, start at $24 and all the way up to the plus plan. So let's go back to the point of sale options here. I get here the staff. I can manage the staff of my location. However, let's go and see the options. I can see the staff where I can manage and view the staff uh, or employees of my physical location. Here, I don't have anyone. I have my store admin, my own uh, name as a store admin. I can manage the POS or point of sales roles. I have associates, I have uh, full permissions and I have limited permissions. I can give uh, up to 40 in each of them. So if I go to full permissions, for example, I don't have anyone as well uh, as of now however I can go ahead and edit the permissions here for any of the categories okay which are allowed now here let's go back to the staff I can click here to add staff so uh, first name last name phone email and for permissions I can give them associate and limited or full permissions and I uh, did show you the permissions And I did show you the permissions. You can view them here if you click on show permissions. And uh, now I have the pin. I can assign a different pin to each uh, staff member. And um, let's go back here. And here I have location. So if I have more than one location or more than one branch, I can here uh, manage them. So of course I need to select a plan in order to uh, allow all of this to go to works. But as of now, I don't have a location, which is uh, only for the pro plan here the average order value and they give you some statistics basically on your location if I click and open it I can view more analytics and more statistics on my location now if I go to settings I can set up the language subscriptions to my POS locations I can manage it with apps remotely if I want to so if I click on apps I can go to Shopify app store and install extensions for my POS app here, point of sale. And as you can see, I have many apps that allow me to uh, manage my point of sale or are related to the point of sale option on Shopify. Now let's go back here, go to settings again. 
and I have the checkout, I have receipt customization, I can customize my receipts right here. So this is the receipt, the, uh, a template of the receipt that my customer will get and I'm in the uh, customize option such similar to the theme uh, optimization option. I can edit the logo, the header and footer as I add the image I can edit the logo with. So it's pretty similar to the uh, theme editor. I can uh, allow to show or hide the total sales. Let's, let's hide them. Uh, SKU, company compared price, staff attribute to sale. Okay, so I can add the name of the staff. Staff at register and also the barcode. I can add the barcode as well. Okay, and 1D or a 2D barcode. It's like QR code. Um, now let's save it. Okay, save for all retail locations or for this location only, let's say for this location. And I can preview here the sales receipt and a gift receipt as well. Okay, let's go back. And I can manage the required checkout information, the customer receipt selection, as well as return rules. So the return rules, I can manage them. They are off by default. So I can turn on the return rules here. And by default, they have rules accept, uh, like returns accepted for 30 days, free return, and no restocking fees, no final sales item. I can manage these rules to add the return window to open it like for 90 days or unlimited or only 14 days. I can, uh, for the return shipping cost, I can uh, make the customer pay it or flat rate shipping or the free return. And now I can apply restocking fee or not. And I can hear uh, final sale item for any specific collection and I can view the rules right here. Now let's save it. Okay, now these are saved, the rules are saved. And um, these settings will be uh, updated by default. Now, if I go to staff once again, or sorry, the point of sale, here I can view the uh, point of sale quick start guide. Of course, I don't have any products yet. Okay, and the POS Pro, so I get this widget, this additional widget for the point of, uh, point of sales. And I can learn more about the Shopify point of sale right here. So this is a great option to use the point of sale op option, of course, or the POS option. If you do have a physical store or a physical store chain alongside your online store, your Shopify store. Uh, in the location, here I can add a location, of course, after I select a plan. So I can add different locations and I can edit the location for any of them. Here I have the pro and I have the light. So no locations found for the light version. You can view all the locations. And basically that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to use the point of sale options for on Shopify to manage and follow up your physical store locations as well as your online store.